In today's Madden 18 tip, my whole purpose here is to help you guys. We're going to give you about three tips, and what that's going to do is it's going to help you to stop throwing interceptions, okay? What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's YouTube video. In today's video, we're talking all about how to avoid throwing interceptions, and one of the keys to that that I'm going to get to in just a minute is we're going to talk about and get into why we throw interceptions in the first place. But before we do that, I want to welcome all of the first time visitors. If you are a new uh, a new subscriber, this is your first time checking out the channel, do me a favor and leave a comment and let me know uh, what is your name, okay, first thing. Second question is what what is one thing that I can help you out in for Madden 18? Okay, so what is one thing that I can do to help you get better in Madden 18? All right, so let's get into the interception topic. So the first question is, why do we throw interceptions in the first place? What are the common themes? What are the commonalities? And, and really, what I've kind of delved into is essentially one to two reasons. The first one is probably the least likely, and that is that we we just totally don't see them. Like, we just totally don't see them, and they trick us, and we just completely just make an error. The second one, and this is the one that's probably the most common, is the defense is able to get enough pressure on us, either perceived pressure, actual pressure, or a bad timing, and we throw the ball before we want to get rid of it. That's the one that I have, like right there, I just didn't see the guy. Like That was pretty crazy. That was one of the most incredible interceptions I've ever seen right there. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is most of the time that's not why I throw interceptions. <laughs> Um, as I threw it, as I'm doing the video. But um, so here's what happens is pressure. And we allow pressure to dictate the game. And unfortunately, what, what people don't realize when they're playing Madden, especially as they're going throughout their offense, is you don't have to throw the ball. <laughs> like you, the worst case scenario is a sack. Okay. And then the second worst sack fumble, maybe. But more than likely, it's going to be a sack. Best case scenario is you're going to throw the ball away. It's not going to be a big deal. One of the things that I find that I just struggle with a lot when trying to read the defense, and I find myself making this mistake a lot, is I'll end up forcing the ball. Um, it's, so that's why I want to talk about perceived pressure. So perceived pressure is when you think there's pressure, but there's really not. Okay, And that happens to me a lot. So what happens in perceived pressure is you might be like, oh, well, I've got a score in one play, so I'm going to force the ball into the post route. Or, um, you know, you're just not used to you're just not used to the fact that he's going to take a he's going to take away one route and give you another route. So then you end up forcing it to the route that you want to throw to more more times than not. The bottom line is you have to take what the defense gives you. That's the way to handle, um, in my opinion, that is how you're going to throw fewer interceptions as you, if, you, if you take what the defense gives you. And the key to do that is progression reading and discipline. It comes down to discipline, focus, execution. Those are the three pillars. And so you have to understand that normally the reason you're going to throw an interception is because you're going to feel pressure and react. What you have to get to is you have to get to a place where you're able to be okay with taking a sack. And the reason that I get after this so much, and I'm gonna, and I take a whole video to talk about this, is because there's a couple things you can do. Let me give you one practical technique. Let me give you one practical thing you can do. The f is, and that is to step up in the pocket. So most pressure in Madden is going to come from the outside. So if you step up in the pocket, it's going to help alleviate some of it. So you'll see every time. I'm going to step up right into the pocket and throw the ball every single time. I'm going to step up immediately as uh, my quarterback's going to catch the ball, and I'm going to step up in the pocket. The next thing that you want to do is you want to have a progressional reading system in which you are looking at uh, points on the field, not routes or players. So I'm looking at different reference points, and as I scan the field, I'm using my peripheral vision to guide most of what's going on, okay? So I use my peripheral vision to guide what most of what is going on. 
the last thing that you can really do, in my opinion, practically speaking, and then we'll wrap up with some, some big picture things. The last thing that I think you can do is to limit your excuses. Um, this is why I recommend not running very many plays. This is why I talk a lot about only running three to five plays in conjunction with one another, because as a quarterback, you have to know where every receiver is going on every time. One of the one of the ways that I threw, I, I found myself throwing a lot of interceptions was that I was running so many different formations and I would think my receiver would be on an out route and in reality is he's on an in route. And if you guess wrong in a split second and you throw the wrong route, it's, <laughs> it's likely to get intercepted. Um, another way that I do it oftentimes is I'll hit the wrong receiver button. It's just these little bitty mistakes that whenever you limit though, whenever you limit how much you're actually going to run, how many plays you're actually going to run from some formation, the same formation, it allows you to take away a lot of those little minor details that you just don't think about when you're putting a scheme together. Like you don't think about the fact that like on PA, on PA post, it's the routes are just completely different. Let's see if I can fit that into Cole. That's my red zone off. 